Hey everyone, it has been a hot minute. Yeah, today is December 4th, so, sorry, cool. Today is December 4th, so this is obviously not, um, <clears throat> this is obviously not a, like, a vlogmas all month type of deal, but today I kind of figured I was doing a lot of stuff, so I would try and do, like, at least like a part one kind of a vlogmas so that's what this is gonna be because if i'm gonna be honest with you guys um basically my december is just gonna be me working <laughs> so overall it's not gonna be that interesting but i figured on days like this where i have a lot of stuff i want to do i could try and get some clips here and there um i haven't really decided if i'm just gonna post today as its own video or wait before I accumulate a couple of days and then make a video <clears throat> we'll see but anyway I am <coughs> dying apparently but I'm at Target right now I have to do some shopping pick up a few items then I'm gonna wrap some presents later I'm putting up our outside like decorations which is gonna be super fun and yeah so I mean, we'll see what happens. I don't know how entertaining this video is going to be, but you know, I figured I'm done. I did my finals yesterday, so there's that. I don't have to worry about that anymore. So I figured I'd just see what happens. So let's see. I'm waiting for Emily to get out of her finals, so to pick her up. Um, I ended up getting, as you can see, I saw I got that bed because we've been trying to find a cute little like tent thing for the guinea pigs for a long time because uh, I don't know, they're cute. They need another little hidey spot. So every time I go to like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, all of those places, I've looked at like their pet beds, and they're always huge because obviously. The pet beds are supposed to be for like you know big dogs or cats and they never have anything for smaller animals but you would think some dogs are really small right anyway so today i finally found that little bed and it's good because there's a lot of cushion in the bottom so that it's not a lot of empty room if you know what i mean so i'm gonna test it out when we get home i'm gonna let the guinea pigs run around on the floor and hopefully they will explore it hopefully but yeah, I really hope it works out. If they like it, what I'm probably gonna do is like take it away and then wrap it for Christmas because theoretically it was gonna be like a Christmas present for the guinea pigs. I know it sounds dumb, but. So if they do react well to it, it'll end up being wrapped later, much later. So yeah, also I was picking something up at Target you may have I think I recorded that. Um, picking up another electric skillet because as of right now our kitchen is undergoing some very extreme renovation I would say. We 
basically the day after Thanksgiving, our stove died. It didn't really die. Um, how do I explain this? On Thanksgiving, we were using the stove and the oven, obviously, and the oven, the coil at the bottom of it started sparking, and they were like, that's weird. So we turned off the oven and didn't really think about it until the next day when I was going to make myself a pizza. And then, as I put the pizza in the oven, I look and it's sparking. Again, the coil is sparking, and we're like, that's not good. And essentially what it did was spark all the way around the coil. Like, it started in one spot, and then eventually the entire thing had gotten, I don't know, sparks? Something? Something was happening. So we were like, okay, so let's not use the oven. So we didn't. And then essentially the oven got thrown on the street and uh, put in the trash, I guess. I don't know. So we don't have an oven, stove, and I don't know when it's coming in because they ordered one from like Appliance Direct or whatever, like two weeks ago. So I kind of miss it. We have a hot plate, is that what it's called? It's like the one single burner that doesn't work very well, but whatever. We're surviving with a toaster oven hot plate and microwave and we have an electric skillet but the one that we have is like old and my mom got so this morning she was like I'm tired and done with it so she ordered a new one which is what I picked up at Target and we actually I don't think I've I thought I posted about it on Instagram but I don't think I did yet um we painted the kitchen um when was it this past week or last week last Wednesday I think it was last Wednesday. We painted our kitchen and that was really great because it used to be this both sides half of the family says it's red half of it says it's pink it's like it was like um a berryish kind of color I don't know um maybe I'll put a picture I took a picture of what it was while we were in the middle of painting it and I might put it so then we painted it this kind of like beige color that like the living room and everything is to kind of match it up. It's warm in here. So it looks a lot nicer now. We really like it. Um, we're planning on getting like a backsplash and getting new countertops. Um, we've already got a new stove and the new stove, well we didn't get it, we ordered it. The new stove is going to be kind of like a chrome silver finish, different from what we have right now. So it's kind of like... I guess we have to get all other new appliances too, so, and they want to clean the tile, so it's in the middle of everything right now. Basically all we've done is paint and then ordered a new stove, and I think ordered a new microwave. Our microwave is fine, but obviously like I said, we're changing the finish, so we have to get new appliances. So my mom ordered a new microwave, but that's not coming until Christmas, I think, but we don't need it. We don't need it yet so that's fine my my dad and I did my bathroom about two weeks ago I a week ago a week ago and I put pictures of that on Instagram if you want to see you're welcome to check it out I was dumb and didn't take like before pictures but I'm really happy with how it turned out we got this whole new vanity set new lights we got basically everything at Lowe's except for like I got a new shower curtain and new rugs and those I got at uh, home goods so but that was a lot of fun it was it was fun it was a lot of hard work it was fun and I'm like so happy with how it turned out so yeah we've been like fixer uppering it here which is fun I really like um making stuff like putting stuff together it's just fun but yeah um once Emily gets out of her class uh, we're going to Petco to get hay for the babies and then we'll be home and like I said, I'll try and put clips of them running around if I do let them out. So, anyway, that's it for, that's it for this checkup. Come on, babies. Come on. <laughs> Thomas is looking at it. She's like, wait, what is this? Yeah, it's a bed. Come on, What if we put, like, food in there or something? That's a very food word, baby. What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's the paper. Mm -hmm.
That's not the important part. <laughs> the tag is not the important part. Then I'm not interested. <laughs> Come on. Oh. You're almost there. I'm gonna go see if the food's gonna work. You ready? <laughs> There's a piece on the floor. There you go, Link. So here is another piece.
I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Thank you. 